Oh. There we go. There we go. Go live. Go live. There we go. Now let me get back to OBS. Well, hello, all my Fluid Art friends. Hello, Rochelle. Nice to see you. Your first time here. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I do resin on Tuesdays, and I do acrylics on Sundays. This Sunday, you've got to come. I have four different things that are going to be given away that day. Isn't that so nice? Two I'm giving away and two that Brian's giving away. Rochelle, do you do acrylics or do you do resin or do you do both? Because um, I do both. Well, hello, Mary Lou. I'm trying to mix this resin up. I wasn't sure how much I needed for all of these. But before I start pouring the resin, I want to show you guys what last week's turned out like. Well, Colleen, thank you for being here. And did you get my little thank you messages? Um, this Sunday, I'm going to use some of them. And I hope that you can make it. Oh, cool. Anyway, this is the clock that I made. This is the front, which was the bottom. This is the back. And I do like the front better. And these are the coasters I made. Now, these are the fronts, which was the... Oh, come on. Unstick. Which was the bottom. And I put a little bit of that white in there with the uh, gold. And that made it, like, real snowy. And hello, Shelly. And um, okay, I, okay, I said hi to everybody. <laughs> I'm. Ha I have to read the chats. Like, did I say hi to that person? Did I say hi to that person? I got y'all. And these are the coasters, and they're not exactly matchy matchy because <laughs> remember my table was shifting. Yes, uh, yes, Colleen, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'm going to use some of them. What's that on my arm? Ugh, I don't know what it is, but I got it off. Um, I'm going to use some of those paints this weekend uh, in my Sunday Live if you want to come in and watch. And I have four giveaways that day. I have a mini leaf blower. I have a... 8 ounce big bottle of the Deco Art 24 karat gold, the Amer Americana Decor or Decor, I don't know how it's pronounced, you know what I'm talking about. And then I have, um, Brian's giving away two pieces. Oh, okay. Well, good evening, Jeff. Oh, that's great. That's great. And guess what, Jeff? I took your advice. Um, I don't know if you can, no, you can't really see it. I put some shims under this corner <laughs> so my piece don't float, or so the design don't float. So first, um, first I'm going to put a little bit of resin in each cup for the colors. I listed the colors down below the video. They're all paste, which I, um, I get them from artisttilldeath.com. They also have a YouTube, uh, page, uh, a channel that they post on, and let's see, oh, hi, Sally, Sally is our newest acrylic pourer, I gave her paints for Christmas, and she's going to start acrylic pouring, now, we live 30 miles apart, so, I, it's not like I can run over there every day, <laughs> and help her, oops, Nope, I'm not putting any resin in there yet because I'm going to mix. Since I'm doing red, orange, and yellow, I was thinking black centers would work. And I, ho I hope I make enough glitter. Come on. Okay, come on. I was going to put a touch of red in there. Oh, jeez. 
this thing takes forever to come out. This is just the cheapy glitter that you get from a uh, from uh, Walmart. It says uh, Createology. Uh, this might be Michael's. It's the craft glitter. Oh, this is unbelievable. There we go. There we go. Got to give it a little pat on the bottom, don't we? This container of glitter is just like a little baby. Got to pat its little bottom to get it to get it to burp out the glitter. And of course, I'm getting it outside the cup too, but oh well. Okay. I hope that's going to be enough. Let's see who else is here. Uh, oh, everybody's just, um, yep, I'm only a text away. Nope, nope, I was going to do the fine red. I wanted to put a little bit of, little bit of red in here. I probably should have gotten the glitter out before. Okay, just a little bit more, Okay. Now, first, before I put the, mix the glitter up, you always mix your glitter up, um, and that goes in first. But what goes in the, you put all your uh, resin in there first. Now, I mixed up 16 ounces. I am praying I have enough for all four, five of these molds. I should. Let's see. Oh, hello, Evelyn! How are you? And hello, Tish! Y'all gotta go check out the coasters that Tish did yesterday with the Milky Way in it. It was, they were so cool. I absolutely loved them. But I can't do those on my channel on a live because... It takes two days to do them. You gotta let the first layer set up and then do the second layer. But go check out Nap Time Creations and go see some of the stuff that she does. Okay, let me see. Well, I've got to save a little bit for the glitter, don't I? <laughs> you only need just a tiny smidgen there to make your glitter into a paste. Because if you get it too runny, it's going to just float all over the place. Okay, I can use a little bit more here. And a little bit more here. Oh, 16 ounces. I just barely had enough. Hopefully I don't run out of color. I just wanted to see what these three colors would look like together. Okay. Ah. Oh, well, pray to the resin gods I have enough resin in all these. Okay, put my cup over there. Let me mix this up real quick. Up, 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 up. Okay, uh, let me see if I can dig out just another couple drops. Uh. Because there's not quite enough resin in there. Now, let me see if that's enough. Oh. Uh, okay, hopefully. These are going to be small centers. I can tell you that right now because I don't think I mixed up enough. And hello, Mona. And hello, Angela. And hello, Sue. You get on your way to work or you just get off work, honey? I know you work, I know you work about this time there.
I am just popping the air bubbles. You want to make sure that you keep it moving, keep it on a low low heat, <coughs> excuse me, and a low um low um um airflow because you don't want to get the mold too hot or it's going to stick together. It, it's very hard to get your resin out. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know if I made enough. So. Let me see now if I can get this to go all the way around this. Like I said, it might end up being small centers. Okay, now let me scrape out a little bit for this one. I'm not going to get too fancy with the way I pour them out tonight. I'm just going to do the traditional five petals, and I might put a toothpick through it. Okay. Hmm, I may just have enough for this. Okay, and you get a little dollop. Little dollop will. Oh, you don't belong over there, do you? So I hope everybody had a happy New Year's. And hello, Shannon. Let's see who else is here. And hello, Tish. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, Tish. Let me give it up for my moderator. Woo! I'm being silly now, aren't I? Okay, I think I got enough for one more center. Up, oh, you floated away where you're not supposed to. Get back over here. Okay, now this one, these two look are looking a little lacking. So let me see what I can scrape out of here. I didn't have that much glitter in the cup because to tell you Drew, I was getting so tired of patting the bottom of that glitter bottle. Okay, come on. Give me just a little bit more. Okay. Down. Down you go. There you go. Oh, oops. Let me flatten out that little mold right, mound right there. Okay, they all look flat. So, now I'm going to mix my colors. These are just resin paste. And you think the resin fumes are getting to me? No, they're not. I'm just naturally crazy, Tish, okay? Everybody will tell you that, right? Right? I blame it on old age. I don't blame my gray hair on old age. I blame that on my kids. Okay, I'm mixing it up to make sure that it's all incorporated because it's been a while since I used it. Now, you don't need very much. There's not even an ounce in there. So I got barely, barely on there. I don't know if you can see it from the side or not. Because you don't want it to be too opaque or you won't get those little uh, special effects that you get in 3D resin flowers. But you won't, you, ha you get the effects by using a very small amount of an opaque paste, but you, you don't get those effects when you're doing a, um, when you do, if you do it with mica powders. Okay, now let me get my orange. That was ATD Fireball. This is just resin saffron. You had a comment there, but you'll be good. Okay. You know, that word doesn't bother me, so if you want to say that word, you can go ahead and say it. If Gina was here, she'd say it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This one was 
pretty liquid, so I don't need to stir it that much. Just a little tiny bit. Little dab will do you, right, Tish? We always talk about that commercial over on her channel. I don't know if anybody remembers that or not. That was Brillo cream. Uh, and see, Evelyn laughed because Evelyn knows what word. Oh, no, Sue! I wasn't going to say it. I wanted to be nice to my moderator because she is my only moderator tonight, it looks like. <laughs> Sue! Oh, I'm sorry, Tish. I didn't make her say it. I said I wouldn't say that word. I didn't even say it was the M word. Yeah, yeah, I have brain farts, too. And this is, okay, we're lemon yellow, which has got kind of a, an iridescent little sheen to it. I don't know if, if the camera picks it up or not, but... I'm not going to use that much. I just am trying to get it all mixed together. Scrape just about all of it off and then get that little super teeny tiny dab because I got about an ounce and a half in the cup. Now I know you've seen a lot of people, wait a minute, let me find a place to put that. Uh, I know you've seen a lot of people that do these resin flowers. Oh, thanks, Angela. Oh, I got a piece of glitter in there. Well, let me see if I can find it to dig it out. Nope. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I got the little culprit. See? There we go. Got rid of him. Well, the yellow has got that um, little bit of um, iridescent to it, is what I think. Uh, I didn't, look, they're floating away. Oh, well. Let me see. I don't know if this will work or not, but let me see if I can use a popsicle stick to corral my little glitters. Come on, guys. Back in the center. Quit floating away. Nobody said you could leave. You gotta stay in the center with the rest of your little brothers and sisters. Okay. Now let me see if I can do this one real quick. I've got some wayward glitters here that are just deciding to float off to the edge. Okay, come on guys, come on. Sorry I'm not looking at the chat, I'm trying to control my glitters. That That's an oxymoron, there's no way you can control glitters. Glitters go everywhere. Right, Tish? Okay, come on, in, 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 in. There we go. Mm, yeah, they look pretty, pretty tame. Okay. Now, like I was saying, but mom, oh, hi, Samantha. Okay, I'm going to start with the yellow because I want to do yellow, then orange, then red. I got it mixed up, okay. You don't have to wait for it to get thick, okay. But you do have to control it to where it only comes out a little bit. That's why I love using cups, except never pinch it at the seam. Always pinch it opposite the seam. There's a seam right there. Always pinch it opposite the seam so it doesn't pull the seam apart because these cups are cheap. You pinch it, and then you should be able to get just a little drizzle out. Let me see. I'm trying to... I'm try Okay, I gotta stand up so maybe you can catch it this way. Nope, my arm's in the way. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna do two rows of yellow. 
on this one. May not be able to, well, I might be able to if I do small petals. There we go, come on. Yep, I can do two rows on this. Oh, my petals are going all over the place. Okay. Now that one looks more centered. Well, hello, Monica. Let's see who else is here. And hello, Deb. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining me tonight. And it's not going to be a long live because Tish is here moderating. And I hope she has the link. She's got Testing Tuesday tonight. She goes live at 7 p.m. Central. Which is... Uh, in a little over 30 minutes from now and I have no idea what she's testing so maybe she can tell you guys in the chat because I go over there and moderate for her on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays and Saturdays I love you Tish you know that Tish I love spending time with her okay I'm only going to maybe be able to do one row of orange and then one row of red, but I think on this one I can do a little bit more. Okay, so pinch your cup. My seam's over here, so pinch your cup. Uh, let me do my one row of, of orange on each of these. Okay, yeah, that one that one looks a little funky, but they you know flowers and um um uh, I don't know if that one gives pearls um tish number one because we got two tissues here tonight um <coughs> I get the pearls by using the Vallejo pearlescent and the uh, Amsterdam white. And then now that I know the American products, which is a little ways back in my videos, um, um, I get the pearls um, using um, a PM like uh, Fiona's, except it is American products, which took me eight different tries before I got to the right one. But like somebody else says, I'll do the testing so you don't have to. And I was bound and determined once I got the hang of everything else in that. I was bound and determined to get that pouring medium right with American products. Mm, I'm going to have a little bit of color left over, it looks like. So, I hope... Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, hello, Melinda. So, did I answer your question, Tish number one? Are you asking about the pearls like uh, Julie Cutts does over on Pouring Your Heart Out? See, I thought you were talking about Fiona's pearls because that's that's all I've been doing lately is Fiona's. Um, well, I'm trying to use up some of my my failed pouring mediums in other techniques.
but I hope I answered your question. I don't know what kind of pearls you can get with that. And, well, hello, Cheryl! How are you tonight, honey? I hope you're feeling better. I don't know if I told anybody or if everybody knows, but all of you all that bought something out of the auction that I where I was raising money for Joe Patty, first off, thank you for me from the bottom of my heart. She will, when she fills up to it, she will thank you guys, either in a video on her channel or maybe a video I'll post on my channel. But she, we raised $600 for her because there was fees and shipping that had to come out and I miscalculated some of the shipping. Um, but I took her, I went to the funeral on the 30th. That's the day we laid her son to rest. And I stayed until the first with her. And I was able to take her $600 in cash. By the day of the funeral, GoFundMe finally released the money that was in the GoFundMe accounts. Okay, now, let's see who's here. Well, hello, Melissa. And, oh, okay, thank you for joining us, Sam. Help you have a nice evening. Okay, I am now going to drag through the petals a little bit with a toothpick. Now, you do not want to go all the way through to the bottom, okay? You want to be careful because if you touch the bottom with the toothpick, you're going to scratch it. So I'm going to draw out the center of each of these little flowers and I mean each of these petals and you clean off your toothpick after each swipe so you don't cross contaminate your colors. And then I will blow them to get rid of some of the air bubbles and I know that's what she said but I will tell you something for those pearls like Julie Cuts does it has to do with consistencies and you can get white pearls you can get other colored pearl, pearls but I've watched her videos many times. She does something that is kind of like a really, really fast tilt, okay? You've got to go watch her to see how she does it. That's all I can really tell you because I haven't practiced with it or tried it even. See, the glitters, they still went everywhere. You little bad boys. You don't listen to me. Told you to stay in the middle and you still didn't do it. Oh, I just dragged some glitters across too now. Oh well. It's gonna happen. Okay, let me do these. I'm looking at the clock. I'm making sure I don't keep Tish too long. Because Tish does go live. Did you post your link, Tish? Did you post your link for um the uh for the uh uh for your Tuesday live so some of the people here can come over there? Although I think just about everybody that's here is subscribed to you and they probably get the notifications anyway. I cannot, I got sticky fingers. I can't get to my keyboard. Well, okay. The black glitter went everywhere. Nothing I can do about that. Um, it's still going to look pretty. 
Oh, that's going to be good. I just read what she's going to do. Y'all, y'all got to check it out. The porridge posse, or per, porridge posse paints, excuse me. I found out I was saying it wrong. Um, they, um, I haven't tried them yet. Well, if you look, Jeff, your suggestion of shims underneath one corner works. Okay, let me hit these with a heat bubble. And then for those of you that came in late, I will show you how last week's turned out. But let me... Hit this with the hot air. Keep it moving. I'm kind of looking at it sideways. I can see the bubbles better. I mean, right before Tish goes live in um, 28 minutes, I'll probably hit him again with the heat gun just to make sure that I got them all. Okay, lesson learned about the glitter. Yep, thank you. It takes a man sometimes to tell a woman what to do when it comes to something like shims and stuff like that. Okay, this is the red and black... Oh, let me get sorry about the glare I'm, there's no way I'm gonna get away from that this is the red and black clock that I made uh, you can see the hole right wait a minute where is it you can see the hole right in the middle of the glitter and the coasters turned out pretty too uh, let me see if I can find a non sticky place to set them down there's one coaster. I absolutely love what that fine white glitter did inside the gold. Okay, which ones look like poppies, Tish number one? The ones I'm showing you or the ones that are that are in here? Anyway, and here's another coaster. See, I'm happier with the front because it's got more red, but you can still see the lines of the white and the black. This one is a little misshapen because this is one that, that kind of, how do I put it, it kind of was tilted a little bit. And then there is this one. And I'm starting to get a lot of coasters like this and clocks, so I think... I'm going to do a couple of heart shaped pieces and I think around Valentine's Day I'm going to have an auction of my stuff just to get rid of some of it. It's taking over my apartment. So listen, um, I'm going to let you all go. I will hopefully in a couple of days, because I forgot to put these up, um, I was so busy between going to Baraboo, the funeral and everything else I was trying to get through. I got to get my YouTube channel caught up with thumbnails. But in a couple of days, I'll hopefully put a thumbnail up for these, what they look like unmolded. Um, Cheryl put up all the links. You got many ways you can support the channel, which I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Colleen. Please be here Sunday, Colleen, because I'm going to use your paint Sunday. And everybody else, please be here Sunday, because I got Four things that are be, going to be given away. A mini leaf blower, an 8 ounce of the uh, Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold, and two different people will win Brian's newest toy. He texted me and said he wants to give away two of them. So, be here Sunday, 12 noon, um, Central, Stand, Central Daylight Time, well, Central Time, whatever it is. I, for, I, I lose track. Let's all go over to Tish's in uh, 25 minutes and watch her. And thank you all for coming out. 
I love the resin right out of you guys. I know I say that every week, but I do. That was, hey, Joe Patty gave me that saying. I'm going to keep saying it now. Um, so, you guys have an awesome evening. Let's go over and watch Tish test out the, the por Porage Posse paints. And all I can say is, bye for now. Love you guys.